right. Uh, we, ho- we know certainly home sales have been booming. So the prices of them in January, the most recent month for which we've gotten data, uh, the, the average home of typical price up 11.1 percent, uh, the strongest game we've seen since going back to uh, March 2014. Rogers Healy joins us right now, the Rogers uh, Healy company owner. Rogers, where's this going? It, you know, I, I think at this point it's a safe bet to say we don't know. It's, it's been like this for a long time, and normally we have a really busy spring and summer, but we've just had a busy, really last 12 or 13 months. And, you know, you talk about all the people buying, we also have the shortest amount, the lowest amount of inventory historically we've ever seen. So whether it's 2014 or 2021, this is something that, you know, we don't see an end in sight. And that's that's a very realistic perspective from someone who happens to be in real estate. You know, Rogers, I was thinking not only is it getting more expensive to finance a home, I mean, these are enviable levels, someone my right. age regardless, but certainly the, the trend has not been the friend. Ten-year no, uh, you know, yields have tripled, if you think about it, from their lows a year ago. Mortgage rates haven't moved nearly as much, but they could. What do you think? I, I think, again, I mean, we're in a situation where people are going to have to just figure it out. And, and for, you know, for a long time, and this is my 20th year in real estate, and really the first 19 years, the rule was location. And I think now it's going to just shift to affordability. And people are going to have to do things where maybe they would stay in the house for three years. Maybe they stay in the house for, for five years. But, you know, it, it's going to just kind of be able to put things in perspective. And on top of all this as well, it's a great time to sell. But if a seller turns into a buyer, maybe they're not going to sell either. So we're at this really unique crossroads, whether the interest rates double or not, we're still going to have just as much activity. And we have literally half as much inventory this year than we did a year ago this time. So what do we do? We figure it out. I think that's what America is known for is, you know, whenever we're faced with something that's relatively difficult, we power through it. But the beauty of this time with real estate, the difficult part is that we actually have an influx of people wanting to actually purchase. So if you're a seller of an existing home, the world is your oyster. If you're a buyer, combined with the higher rates for borrowing, to say nothing of the price of your homes and all the commodities, prices that we've seen rise from lumber, tin, aluminum, all of that, you're getting a double whammy here. Yeah, I mean, I guess your world is your oyster. It's just a matter of what season the oyster, you know, is coming out at. And, and yeah. you know, it's a great time Good to sell, point. but... You're not really buying into equity in most situations. And historically, this is in a couple pockets like Dallas, L.A., Chicago, Vegas, Phoenix. But this is everywhere. And we're seeing places boom in the Midwest that historically were places where people would flee from. But, you know, millennials and baby boomers are the two biggest demographics we have in the country. And they're the ones driving our real estate market. But with over 70 million millennials purchasing homes in the coming, you know, the the near future, There's literally not an end in sight. So we have to just figure it out. And this new normal is not just with our country. It's with our real estate market as well. Are you bullish on housing overall, though? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm extremely bullish. And also, like I said, I'm realistic. And I think that with all this being said, with lumber prices increasing and labor prices increasing, we're also seeing an increase in rental prices. And and so at some point, you know, people are going to want to go and shift the amount of money they're spending to a mortgage payment versus just paying someone else's mortgage. And so this, you know, we're in the safest we've ever been as far as an American real estate economy. All right. We'll watch it closely. Rogers Healy, uh, thank you very, very much. Again, following this housing boom that looks pretty real right now and pretty sustainable. We'll have more after this. Nicorette. 